very exciting space that we're in and a very uh, opportune time to be in, in cloud computing these days. Innovation in the cloud is going to come from multiple places. You can no longer rely on just one vendor to actually offer all the services you need to make your business successful. In that world, we have lost the integrated experience of a single API. Welcome to another episode of The Path, a video pass and podcast series where we invite the founders of successful businesses to share their experiences and insights to inspire future entrepreneurs. Today, I'd like to welcome Basam Tabara, founder and CEO of Upbound, a company that I think is gonna be making the core foundation of innovation across any cloud, and they are hiring. Thank you, Gup, and thanks for uh, the opportunity to, to talk to you here. I'm, my name is Basam Tabara, I'm the CEO and founder of Upbound. I'm also one of the maintainers on the popular crossplane project, uh, and uh, tell you a bit about Upbound. We're essentially a, a startup, uh, and we're in the cloud computing space. We're building essentially a layer that sits on top of the incumbent cloud providers and enables companies to have more choice in terms of where they run their computing workloads and how they have access to uh, cloud services. So uh, very exciting space that we're in and a very uh, opportune time to be in, in cloud computing these days. So one of the things I love about what you talk about is that, you know, entrepreneur, N equals two, dad, N equals two, and then immigrant as well. You mind just talking about your journey and your story on, on how you've got here? Uh, it's been a long journey. I started uh, coding when I was a little boy, nine years old. It's when I first learned how to write basic and build games and stuff. And then, um, Let's see, it took me from there to starting my own company when I was 14 and, uh, you know, staying out of school and for as long as I can so I can uh, work on building this this uh, software and selling it uh, to uh, my journey here to the United States. Uh, I, you know, from the Middle East, uh, I grew up in Lebanon and uh, to college and to Microsoft and <laughs> and then eventually leaving and starting a a a, a, start, a venture backed company, Symform, building a, a, a you know peer to peer storage platform before Bitcoin, and then uh, to an exit, and then to uh, you know essentially starting the first uh, storage project in the CNCF, the Cloud Native Foundation, Rook. Uh, which led to uh, learning a lot about control planes and learning a lot about open source communities and uh, to uh, Upbound. You know, what, what's the special source in Upbound? Why, why is it going to be the future of cloud innovation? Look, I think the model for cloud is changing. I think the last 15 years of cloud computing have been about vertical integration. You see companies like AWS and Azure and, uh, you know, Google and Alibaba have built massively massive platforms around cloud. They are vertically integrated. They are all about essentially offering a set of diverse services that they, they have under their platform, everything from storage to compute to networking, databases, AI, ML that are offered by on these platforms and offered in a single and consistent way using a you know, served all as an API with common access control and common billing and common metering. That has been the journey that they've been on and for the last 15 years, and they've built amazing hyperscale platforms. But we're seeing a lot of innovation happening outside of these walled gardens of the clouds, and there are now multiple of them. So the world is going towards more heterogeneity or more of a horizontally integrated world where innovation is going to come Innovation in the cloud is going to come from multiple places. And as a company, if you are an enterprise company looking at modernization of your platform, you can no longer rely on just one vendor to actually offer all the services you need to make your business successful. You see companies like Snowflake and Databricks have built amazing services around data that are just not available in, you know, from any any cloud vendor. And so from that perspective, when you think about where we're going, we're going to see more heterogeneity. And in that world, we have lost the integrated experience of a single API that is offered by, by anyone. And so what we've done, the secret sauce, 
that we think we have created in the open source community is the project called Crossplane. And that's where, you know, essentially it's a universal control plane for a new era of cloud computing where you can get services from everywhere. How do you just sort of go from one startup and go, you know what, uh, I've moved out of storage, now I'm going to go down this path across plane. So, so how, how do you do that and, and how do you find the people to sort of help you go down that journey? Yeah, I mean, look, it, it starts with a, a, a belief in, in making a, you know, something meaningful, building something meaningful and being part of it. Um, and when I started, when I was working on the Rook project, I saw the power of open source communities, I saw the power of creating a project that can actually orchestrate storage. And I can't tell you how many people wanted to off, you know, essentially give us a check to go build a storage company around Rook. Um, but there was a larger opportunity. It, and it's the same opportunity, just in a different context or even a more expansive context. And so, so we saw that opportunity of essentially building a universal control plane using the same approach that we used in Rook and, um, you know, went for it uh in some you know you kind of have to dream of something before you can manifest it that's what motivates people to go do you know startups that would motivates people to actually uh go you know leave their cushy jobs or leave their jobs and 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 go through the crazy experience of of building a startup when you're working on something that's meaningful and purposeful and actually can you know drive change and leave you know uh, uh empower people to make a choice uh, people, you know, essentially come to you. They arrive at, they want to be part of this. There's a lot of people that are part of Upbound today that have literally showed up at our door and said, I can't think of anything else I would want to do in my life besides be part of this mission. It has to be meaningful and the belief as well. So, and you're hiring, right? So, uh, which is, which is, you know, an, another exciting chapter, I'm, I'm assuming. We are definitely hiring. We are um, we're on a path to triple our company in the next six to nine months. If you're excited about being part of the next era of cloud computing, definitely reach out to me. Um, I'm happy to have a chat about it. One one issue about the whole thing about the belief as well, Basam, is how do you how do you ensure that that the culture as you grow is consistent with the passion that you know the the early team had? Um, it's a really hard one to balance. I, I think. As you know, a founder in a company, your big part of your job is to essentially show up every day and remind people of the vision and remind, ensure, and keep people honest that we're actually working towards that. It is really easy to get sidetracked and think about, uh, you know, more pragmatic goals. It's important to not lose track of where you're actually going and what you're about as a company. And uh, you know, in a lot of ways. Uh, a big part of being a founder in a company is to remind people of that and as to hire people that actually can subscribe to the vision and actually can propagate it uh, and help help grow the company around it. I want to stay on this whole people component too because I saw the guitar and so I, I, I must ask, so, so are you, do, do you play it or, or is it just for Zoom calls like this? Um, <laughs> no, it's not for Zoom calls. I, I, although it does make a really good Zoom background. Um, but uh, no, I, it's 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 a you know a hobby of mine, and it, it's something that I do primarily for for downtime. It's important to have a balanced life for when you're doing a startup. It's it's usually a lot of ups and downs, sometimes more downs than ups in a startup. Um, and you know, having a way to actually uh, relieve stress or you know, whether it's a sport or it's a, you know, a hobby that you pick up is, is, is super important. You know, how would you assess the right investor for your business? Honestly, you, are, from my perspective, you have to essentially look at the human, not just the firm. Um, it's somewhat of a marriage in the same way that a co-founder is uh, somewhat of a marriage. Startups are a long haul game. It's not a short term game. Um, and and you need someone that's able you're able to work with and you're able to build a level of trust and that you're able to kind of go through all the ebbs and flows of a startup together and someone that would is truly believes in the vision uh and wants to see it to its full fruition 
Basam, once again, thank you so much for your time. Thank you for sharing the insights as well. And uh, you know what? I'm glad I'm human as well. And once again, I'm yep. going to thank you for thank allowing you. us to uh, invest in you and being part of your journey. For everyone that's watching and listening, if you've enjoyed this, please subscribe and really looking forward to uh, talking to you next time we're on these sessions. Cheers.